Hello once again everyone, and as you can probably tell, once again I've had to sub Bob in as my cameraman. But today we're going to be doing Lesson 8. Now Lesson 8 is a very, very short one, so I'm not really going to need to spend a whole lot of time. Um, this one is very much just sort of a building block, as following this we go into Lesson 9, which uses the initial part that we're working through here. But it's not going to be an unfamiliar motion. So join me once again is Jason. So, uh, go ahead and take one step back for me, Jason. There you go. So both fences are going to begin in the outside guard. He's going to feint a cut without a lunge to the inside of my face, prompting me to move into an inside guard. This draws out my arm. So from his perspective, he's drawn out this shape. He's then going to deliver a two cut onto my wrist. So we'll go ahead and have you succeed at that. So, feint, boom, hit. You want to go a little bit more to the side. Now with this one especially, the more sheer you can make your feint, the better, right? I don't want it to be a big, wide one, because while yes, I will prompt him to go over more, it'll just take too much time for me to come back around. What I really would like this to be is tip, just a nice little narrow drop, and even if he does get his guard across like you saw, I have the high potential of instead of hitting his forearm, I end up going into his elbow or other such areas, and that's really, really nice. But, the action then continues. So he faints, I move, he parries, he attacks and I parry in an outside guard. That's it. Right? I move, I parry in the outside guard, and then from here I'll just be an exchange of seven. So, seven, 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 done. A very, very simple play. Like I said, this is just going to be a building block one, so let's actually switch sides real quick uh, so they can see my hand carry just a little bit more, um, more easily. So, we'll go ahead and do the full thing. Good. We'll go through it one more time. Fantastic. So, like I said, really not that complicated of a lesson, um, barely even a two minute video. But the point is that this is going to be a building block for the lesson we'll do next week, as lesson nine and then following it lesson 10 are both quite long, combo heavy, very complicated sort of uh, actions. But this little guy is going to be super, super important, especially being able to launch that seven and then dealing with the consequences of doing so. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. We'll go over some other techniques another time.